I'm Christoph Conrad, and I'd like to show you a PhoneGap plugin that I wrote for the Dropbox Sync API. It's hard to demonstrate a plugin by itself, so I also wrote a sample PhoneGap application that uses the plugin. That's the application you see on the left of my screen here. It's built with the new Topcode CSS toolkit. And by the way, what you see here on my screen is not an iPad simulator, it's the actual screen of my iPad that I'm streaming to my computer. On the right side of my screen, you also see my Dropbox folder on my computer. So when you first start the application, you need to link it with your Dropbox account. That's something that you only need to do once. And the way you do it depends on whether you have the Dropbox application installed on your device. If you don't, you'll get a Dropbox authentication dialog where you'll have to enter your user ID and password. But if, like me, you do have the Dropbox application installed on your device, when you tap the link to Dropbox button, you will be taken to the Dropbox application where you can authorize your app. Before we do that, I want you to take a look at my Dropbox folder on the right. Notice that when I authorize the application, a new folder is automatically created in my Dropbox. Apps, and then in there, PhoneGap Sync, which is the name of my application. This is because the Dropbox Sync API provides folder level synchronization. You don't have access to your entire Dropbox, just an application folder. Okay, so the way the application works is that all the files you copy in the application folder will automatically be synchronized with your device. Let's see that in action. So I'm going to copy a few files to my application folder. And as you will see, within a few seconds, they will show up on my iPad. Once the files are available locally, you can open them and do whatever you want to do with them. It can be images, files, even HTML files. Let's move a few additional files to the application folder. Again, you will see that within a few seconds, they will be synchronized on the device. I can open the notes folder. As you can see, I have a bunch of notes here and I can select one and visualize it. Go back, open the pictures folder and visualize images here. Now, this can work the other way around too. For example, you could write a file on your iPad using the Dropbox API exposed by the plugin, and it will be saved to your Dropbox as well. Now, as I mentioned before, you only need to link your application with your Dropbox account once. But if at some point you wanted to unlink the application, you could do that as well by pressing the button here. The code for the plugin and the sample application is available on GitHub. Thanks for watching.